My name's Lou Kunzler and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my new historical middle grade title coming out with Faber this summer. Our Beautiful Game is the story of Polly Nab, a young girl desperate to play football as her brother goes off to war to fight in the trenches of the First World War. And it's been such a privilege and pleasure to write this book, which is inspired by real life historical young players such as uh, Lily Parr and Alice Woods, who played for the legendary Dick Kerr's ladies team. And this was a time when young girls and young women were coming together for the first time to play football um, as they worked in munitions factories, um, having the free time together rather than when um, young working class girls had worked in service, for instance, and they had their free time one at a time and, and a very limited free time. Suddenly, girls and young women were having free time all together. And crucially for our story, they were wearing trousers. And football really exploded as a pastime for young women at this time. So much so that by Boxing Day 1920, the Dick Kerr ladies team played a huge stadium match which had 53,000 spectators. And that was slightly the problem because just a year later, in 1921, the FA almost overnight banned the women's game, saying no women could play on FA affiliated pitches or have FA officials at their matches. So overnight, the women's game was shunted back to being um, played on, on, on waste ground and small pitches and, and out of the public eye. And this was partly because the men were coming back and the FA felt a threat from this huge energy that the young women and the supporters of those young women were putting into the women's game. And so writing our beautiful game has been about bringing that joy and energy and camaraderie that the young girls and women felt as they formed teams in those war years, but also looking at their work in munitions factories. And often I discovered girls as young as 11 and 12 were working amongst the explosives in those factories. So it's looking at all of that and bringing those three strands together. The idea of the joy of the game, the shadow of the war and the threat of the FA moving closer and closer to clamping down and stopping the women's game. I think for me what perhaps sums up the way that um, the women's game was considered then and the way it is now is perhaps the two quotes that I chose to put in the front of the book. So I took um, a quote from the document that the FA produced in order to put an end to the women's game, which they got various doctors to come and say things like women's legs didn't work properly. So they said, um, this is the Football Association on the 5th of December 1921, they say the game of football is quite unsuitable for females and ought not to be encouraged. And then the uh, other quote that I put at the, at the front is from um, the wonderful Steph Horton, who of course um, is the captain of the England's women's national football team and has been since 2014. And she says, it is our duty to inspire young girls to play a sport. And obviously now we see the huge enthusiasm for the women's game, both at grassroots levels and with teams like the Lionesses and, and international enthusiasm. Um, so it's been an absolute joy and a pleasure to write, and I hope you enjoy uh, Polly's fictional story, which draws very, very heavily on the facts around that glorious time of the women's game and the peril that was coming as the male-led FA tried to put a stop to it. I hope you enjoy it.